Understanding why farm matters is more than just crime in South Africa is easy. Let's play the proportions game. Let's take the actual populations of racial groups in South Africa and percentage-wise work out an accurate percentage with a fictitious number. Let's use a low number, 2% as a fictitious number. The actual percentage will differ in both cases according to unemployment, etc. But for the sake of proving a point, we're using 2%. So, with 4 million whites in the country, Afrikaans and English, on 2% gives you 80,000 criminals out of 4 million whites. Using the same formula on the total blacks in the country, which is 50 million plus, we get 1 million criminals out of 50 million black South Africans. That is one-fourth of the total white population. Taking this to, into account with polarizing statements by the ruling ANC government, like our president singing Kill the Boer, and ministers calling for farming land to be taken, using phrases like the war for land, or again, our president saying all our problems, and by our, he means blacks, started when Jan van Riebeek arrived in South Africa. By Jan van Riebeek, he means whites. It can't be interpreted in any other way. With all of this, it will come as no shock that the Institute for Race Relations in South Africa's Dr. Johan Berger said that farmer deaths are three times higher than police deaths in the country. Police deaths are estimated at 52 per 100,000 and farmer deaths estimated at 130 per 100,000. Polarizing political states, statements have results and you're looking at them at this moment. If you still believe this is just crime, you should check if you in fact have a pulse. found severely injured and died before he could be taken to hospital. We are very vulnerable. All the farmers are vulnerable. We have dogs, we have a guard.
last 20 years, since Nelson Mandela's African National Congress has been in power, more than 4,000 white families have been killed. But 10 times that number of white South Africans have been brutally murdered in what many claim are racially motivated attacks. An hour's drive from Willie's farm, and Cornelius Nell has been farming cattle and maize for nearly 40 years. He's convinced the killings are part of a systematic bid to drive white South Africans, and in particular farmers, out of the country. He's paid the ultimate price. His daughter Vanessa was shot dead on his farm. I love her a lot. That's for sure. 